not played any games with it, but basically what it is is an a four assassins trophy, four field of rune, three casualty of wars deck that's trying to really punish these three and four color decks that are currently running between like zero and two basic lands. And then besides that, you have just your general package of planeswalkers and good black green stuff. You have carnage tyrants. Um, for, you you have the the lack of hydroid crasses from like the Sultai list, but it's basically just an attack you dead deck that's going to try to deny some mana and stuff. And hopefully this casualties is going to be really good versus all of these planeswalker decks because like you can kill one of their lands, one of their planeswalkers, and whatever random creature they have, whether it be a dragon or a Kazmina token or even a servo. If it's servo, sometimes you can kill an additional one with the target artifact claws, or sometimes you can kill a Mox Amber, or sometimes you can even kill a Prison Realm to get back one of your friendos. Or Nixalon Binding, which is getting picking up in popularity as well. We're going to jump right into the games. Um... I don't think I can uh, deny a turn to uh, Jade Light Ranger, even if we don't have Black Mana or anything. <laughs> so our opponent's a Mulligan. They kept their six, and now they've scribed to the top. But we have our friend Odalana Whirl. And even if they're playing Red Deck Winds or something and kills the Land Elf, at least we get to play the Branch Walker. I'm pretty well going to dunk anything here but lands. Get dunked. This is unfortunate. This is one of the matches that I think will end up being fairly bad. Because they have a lot of basics. Killing this doesn't really feel like it wins. Ignoring it feels like we lose. Giving them a fourth land, the Hardcaster Phoenix is those basically the same thing as them getting a lot of extra mana from this, I think. Not looking good. Maybe they'll miss their land drop here. That would be what I refer to in the business as Neato Burrito. But they did. They won't miss it again, though. Might actually be worth killing this now. Or maybe I'm just Vivian looking for a black mana. We could 
could guarantee our black mana with the field of room, but we'll add something to the board. Makes the Arclock or Phoenixes um, worse, I guess. Makes it hard for them to play defense and offense, basically, and they have a relatively low life total. So what would suck here? Them being able to get back two Phoenixes this turn? Yeah, they always have two in like the top 15 or so cards. 18 or so cards. I'm supposed to do now. I guess these two. Card on bottom, so maybe they're missing the land again. Who knows? We're heading to race here. Oh, I'm not sure what that attack was. That attack may have won us the game. In a game that I didn't think we could win. They finally hit their fourth land. I guess technically their fifth land. They attack, I clearly assassin trophy this, I think, to play around lightning strike. And then if they can handle three things on the ground without one of them being a blocker.
I'm bringing all of our removal. Ooh, exile. Basically, these five. What don't we want here? I don't think we want this. I don't think the mana plan really works. The Nile plan really works here. Even though it kind of did that game. I do think they'll be bringing in some bigger spells. Like bigger counter spells, maybe the single strokes or negate. Kind of want these two. How do I feel about you? I can't really protect you. You attack through Phoenix and survive. Is that better than a Vivian? Uh, let's try this on the draw. Might bring some of these trophies back in if we see that they're a heavy Planeswalker build. Or we might bring the casualties back in on the play. So between spell pierces and their counter spells, I just don't really think I want to rely on a six mana sorcery that will often just be killing a phoenix that will come back on the following turn regardless. I don't think I need duress on two or on one. I can do it on two. So if they don't kill the Jade Light Ranger, or if they don't kill the Land World, I can decide between either Jade Light Ranger or Branch Walker plus duress. Or if they play like a Goblin Electromancer, maybe we could do something else. Wow. Um, well, I'm just going to try to punish. They're missing lands again. They kept them all this time, though. I'm actually just going to keep that. All right. Well, don't know why they kept that. I don't think I... There's not very many one land hands I keep with Phoenix. On the play with the full seven. I guess an op's good enough, but... I just need so hard to hurt. Yeah, well, we've had two for two games so far for turn one Lana War Friend. Streak is broke, and I don't think this hand's good enough to keep either. Alright, on the draw, er, sorry. Um, on 
the draw with a mulligan. Or not on the draw, but on the play of a mulligan. I guess I would just give it a try. Uh, I wasn't really reading this chat, no. I would tune in and type a word to him here or there, but most of the, uh, most of the viewing I do is on my cell phone, so I can't see the chat and the stream. I can only see one or the other at it. I feel like this match is going to be very hard. Because I'm assuming based on these colors that it's Dreadhorde. Help it. It's not my fault. I only watched him for like four or five minutes anyway. Uh, well, opponent is doing better than us, and we can confirm their dread hoarding now. They even have a blonde that's flourishing. This is the type of deck that our deck is. Built to beat, however, we have no cards. <laughs> yep, that's going to be a really nice card for Infect. Really nice card for Infect. Say we're pretty close to dead now. Modern's already the most popular um, competitive format. I don't think it'll overtake EDH as the most popular format format. I've been pretty disappointed with the Modern Horizon spoilers so far. Like, Scale Up, the cards you're talking about, this is the only card I've been super hyped for. The new land cycle is obviously cool, but I don't think they changed a lot of decks. Like, I'm not going to put one of those lands in Jund, or might put them in, uh... The interesting thing about Expeditions, it's faint, but there is a extreme portion of them. Like, the majority of them printed have this little messed up thing in the top corner that you can't really see, but lowers the grading. Let me see if I can find an example. Like this. You can't really see it without zooming in on a super high power uh, camera. A really high power counter. But like all of them have this weird like cut. And this come from the factory. And I would say 75% of them are like this and people just don't see it. Which really sucks, by the way. Um... Guess I could just kill this, but giving them another land doesn't seem particularly good. I'm not really doing anything else. Most people would sell that card as lightly played because it's not something you really see with your eyes. But for me, they're all like just basically moderately played. And it's just expeditions. It's not all masterpieces. It's like the first cycle they put out. Something happening in, in the process of them cutting them. I'm fairly close to conceding this game. So, 
Um, I'm going to try to stick around and see how many basics they have so we know how good our Assassin's Trophies and stuff are. What do you do? So this kills the entire board. Each other creature gets minus one, minus one. To end of turn, whenever a creature dies, so they all get minus one, minus one. Then this dies and kills this. Then this dies and kills this, and so on. Huh. I guess I just attack with both. Try to clear it away so they can't double block the Carnage Tyrant. FYI, the Arid Mesa that I was just showing is for sale. Fairly cheap, to be honest. It's fun. Yeah, the prices on that, those type of cards are just going to go way up and way up. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Mana Crypt sees like seven or $800 at some point. Yeah, I got one in a collection recently that I'm selling. <laughs> Hello, our opponent did the thing. Oh, cool. They have the neat art one. I'm pretty sure I have to kill this. So if I play you, you don't do anything now. I guess I just attack you with Carnage Tyrant then. They could double block. Not double blocking. As soon as they draw Commander Dreadhorn, we are just super dead skis. Because they already have multiple Wild Growth Walkers in their graveyard. Assuming they don't have it yet, though, because they should be blocking if they have it. Well, I'm assuming they just drew it. Because they no blocked last turn, then they attack this turn. That indicates to me that they drew it. Still don't know how we win though, because they're getting two uh, wild growth walkers back this turn with four explore triggers. So we don't know how much life they're going to lose based on what they choose, but we know they're going to gain twenty four of it back immediately. And have multiple planeswalkers in play. Probably three planeswalkers in play. And then tap to do black first. Huh, they didn't get the planeswalkers. And they have another Commander Dreadhorn, so. If there was any way for us to fight back through the first one, we will not beat the second one. And I doubt there was any way for us to fight back through the first one, since we're going to be at like 30 or something. Our Massacre Girl clears the board, but... 
clearing the board doesn't matter when next turn they just get it all back plus more. Eh, we'll cast a Massacre Girl for fun and then we'll concede. Let's go everything on the table except for the Massacre Girl. Yay! Next game. <laughs> I choose you and you. I don't think I want you. I think locking them out of lands is one of the ways to win. Definitely don't want you. you probably want you you're probably good enough I want the restes hmm. probably want these cast downs and uh, a mix of those cruelties too because we want to be able to kill planeswalkers and pressure them or kill their creatures or pressure their planeswalkers with air I don't want this, but I don't know what else I should really take out. Alright. A bunch of Assassin's Trophies, please. That's no Assassin's Trophies. Alright, we still keep this hand, I think, is relatively weak. It might not have been a cap. I said a cap. Yeah, this may have been a mulligan. Stone Rain. Stone Rain in people's fun, right? Yeah, that's kind of the theory behind this deck. This deck's a four field of rune, four assassin's trophy, uh, multiple casualties of war deck, and it's meant to beat up on these planeswalker decks. Um, these three and four color planeswalker decks that have between zero and two basic lands. It's not necessarily always being successful, but that's kind of the theory behind it at the very minimum. Yes, I want to kill one of the green. Really like to draw our one of Crucible of the Worlds. We'll save our Elder Spell for a better Planeswalker. Or for when we draw our Nissa, one of the two, I guess. We know they have a fourth land if they want it. I also have a fifth land, too. Going to avoid playing the Wild Growth Walker here in case they have Massacre Girl. That 
Is it a fairy? The fairy did not talk. Hmm. Casualty award, please. I just attack with them with all six. And probably end up killing a black blue land. I'm going to Elder Spell that, of course, as well. We'll just go ahead and use it. Well, no, they could have a negate or something, so it's better to use it on their turn. Massacre Girl's still really good, but they have to have the black mana for it now. Three damage if you're getting hit by. Well, the Manda Nile plan didn't really work. It seemed like they got to cast all their spells still, but... Maybe keeping them off curve was good enough? Hmm... More random removal spell to try to get through. Being able to land a war elf there into uh, Field of Rune was pretty nice. Or, yeah, Field of Rune. Draw a field of rune this game, we may just have enough. We essentially get to kill a land here, which is exactly where we want to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm locking it right now too. They keep they keep hitting every land the deck though. That's unfortunate. The blowing up lands and stuff doesn't really work when they don't miss a land drop ever. I think they are a 27 land deck or something ridiculous though. And that lets them be able to find lands, so. I guess I want this. I guess I don't really want it.
They didn't do enough damage to kill this. I guess I'm supposed to just pass then. I like they have a commando dread horde. Uh, really wanted to land there, which is why I used that spell. We had a wild group walker in our graveyard already, so I don't think it mattered. So yeah, the a fairy and not a land. So we basically just need something to kill a land here and I think we'll win. They draw a land and get to play a Dreadhorn, we can't win, I don't think. Alright, so we gotta dodge one turn. One turn. Well, they can't get too many of them back, but they can get like double wild growth walker and a branch walker back, and that'd be brutal. Sorry, double wild growth walker and a branch walker. Or a branch. Is it a branch walker or two? Yeah, branch walker. Well, they hit it. That's unfortunate. I thought we just won, but we didn't. So they can pay six life, go to four, have just a million blockers. And then they gain the six life back, so they'll be at ten. Or not ten, yeah, ten. They have another one we can't win. They're blocking of this, they have to have another one, right? Can't win if they have another one, so. I guess we could, maybe. No, we could, no matter what. We have 15 cards we want to draw in this match, and we drew one, so. They draw more Commando Dreadhorns than we do our 15 cards. I don't Oh, what to really expect. Yeah, they have another one. You can tell by they're putting on the stack right now. Oh, well. Unfortunate. Like, we have these four fields, these four trophies, and these three casualties. Did I say 15 cards? I guess it's just 11. I think if we draw any two of those, we would have won that game. It's also why I'm not entirely sold on this type of strategy. They have swamps.
Could just be a mirror. Well, that's kind of cool. That's what only gets a card you're supposed to keep here. I think I could have tapped my mana better there somehow. No, I guess I couldn't really. So I just want to play this. I may have, but the point uh, stopping them from getting six mana is the big, the big thing. I, mean, I think at any point they get the six mana, we just lose, and we would have had to take out creatures for them, so that just gives them more time too. I thought about duresses though. The problem is I just don't care about their planeswalkers. The only card I want to duress is Command the Dreadhorn, and because of um, they have. Uh, Tamio and Tamio's static ability says they can't discard cards. And even if we make them discard it before they draw Tamio, they just play Tamio and put it back in their hand. So, like, Tamio is really big to rest protection. Right, now that we have two of these, we're just going to cast them. I was trying to uh, wait and queue some protection in case they were, like, sandbagging a planeswalker or something. But now that they don't, we're just going to kill a land, kill a creature, attack for seven. And then next turn, no matter what they play, we can kill it on land and attack for seven. But, like, Tamio's really, really good versus discard spells. Just the static ability of once it comes down, your duress is dead. And if you had a duress before me, I can get my card back. It's just so huge. It is appearing that we could be just playing the full on mirror here. Thinking about just attacking them, I don't know what they play to get back from it. I think this is probably better. we we'll kill their black land to try to keep them off Massacre Worm. And we have uh, a Chupacabra and an Assassin's Trophy or whatever to get any other type of blocker out of the way. I 
yeah, what's good in the mirror? So right off the bat, we do not want these Assassin's Trophies. So that's easy. We definitely want these cast downs. We definitely want this. Could just want this as well. Is Elder Spell good enough when we know opponent's going to have at least Vivians and Verascas? Are you good enough, Elder Spell? Probably better than Massacre Worm. Having some access to Assassin's Trophy is probably not the worst thing in the world either. I might like Elder Spell too much. Their spell's probably just worse than Assassin's Trophy. Alright, let's give it a try. It's been so long since I played, like, uh, a Golgari mid-range mirror that I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to approach, approach it at all. I've not saw any either. And the static abilities on these planeswalkers are pretty awesome, though. I want a wild beta key. I don't think I can keep this. Certainly can't keep this. Yeah. It's not really where we want to be at. And not really where I want to be. That's a good one too. At least they can't kill that this turn. Tempted to block. Yeah, I guess I'll just take the hit, shoot this, and then hopefully block then. Yeah, we lose. Too far behind now, I think. Because we're going to shoot this attack and I have to block. I don't have an option, I have to play this too. They can kill this and the land. <clears throat> or they can just attack us for two and save this to kill a creature. It's probably 
probably better. Well, if they have literal nothing, which is impossible, mind you, because they didn't even play a land drop, then this would be enough. But they clearly have a cast down or a trophy or another casualties of war or something. I don't think I'm changing anything from the play to the draw. We didn't get to draw any of our cards. I'm not sure if they would have been good or bad. Might want some fine finalities if there's mirror matches in the sideboard. Easy keep. We have Lana War Pal. And they don't. That's huge. Uh don't think I want you. Right, we need them to only hit one here. That's unfortunate. Oh, they actually need that land too. Wow. All right. Well. I don't think I want you. I think I want my casualties. Gari friend. Atlanta War. Pretty sure I'm supposed to just attack with these two. get absolutely wrecked here if they have a uh, swamp in the massacre girl probably just offer the straight right the so one two three four five then we have one two Three, four, five, six. So I can, I can send with this. And 
they take one. Then we can one, two, three, four, five. I can play you. Tap you for black. Get a black green. Untap you. Tap you for black. Play you. Destroy target creature, destroy target land. And kill these two. Shut them down two lands, still have a Nissa and a board. We know they have a little Varaska in their hand that doesn't really do anything other than like kill my Jade Light Ranger. And that's if they have the land. So the best thing it does is a thing I don't care about, which is a good place to be. I guess I want to do this one. Um, okay. Still 10 damage even with a block. And now we're 2-1 and got to win one out of the next two for a PD chest. I apologize if you guys can hear the lawnmower outside. The Yard Boy is here. At 8.30 p.m. at night. Wonderful. Pretty sure he cleaned the neighbor's yard at like 8.30 a.m. or something. Some, some ridiculously early time. That Nissa turn was great. Oh, cool. This spoiler that I just saw was pretty neat. The Sisse, 2-2 two, two for 3, uh, gets plus 1, plus 1 for each color among other legendary permanents you control. So, like, say you have a Planeswalker, it's a 4-4 four, four or something. Or, sorry, one of the multicolored Planeswalkers. And you can pay a casual 5 mana to search your library for any permanent with mana cost less, or any legendary permanent Man, it costs less than his power and put it into play. Like, that's EDH. That's e got EDH written all the frig over it. What mythics have been spoiled so far? For this set. I know we've got the Planeswalker, and I know we've got Urza, and I know we've got Seasoned Pyromancer. What else is there? Oh wow, the Rangers. I mean, I think I didn't realize that. The Slivers Mythic. The Belmont Mythic. So these Mythics are pretty bad for constructing. This is a pretty clear keep. Opponent mulligan again. We've had a lot of that tonight. Ouch. Well, maybe we'll draw a forest for our land or elf. That's not a forest. Not going to shock just to play a land or elf here. Let's 
decision time. Eh. I'm gonna go with this one, and if between the four cards they have left, one's a mountain and one's a chain friend, I am just gonna cry. But if not, I'm gonna pretty happily trade this for this. Lightning. Do I have another? Well, that's really unfortunate to see. Puts me in a super bad spot. I guess I'm just supposed to pass here, then. We know we're casting Chain Whirler next turn, and even if this gets to one, it gets to Shock. Just gonna go down to 11 here and hope we draw a Wild Group Walker. They had a third lot up the stage, and they hit another Chain Whirler. Alright, well we can't win then. And they hit the fourth lot up the stage, the top 15. Literally can't win. Yeah. Unfortunate. Pick out the really expensive cards. We'll take out these two, I think. Kind of want these Paradise Druids either. So bad versus Chain Whirler. So this is a Land War Elf, but I don't really have anything else to bring in, I don't think. I uh, don't know if this hand can win. All to live a long day. Probably should have untapped a forest and played a branch walker too. No, I'd rather have a 3 3, I think. Soon they'll find a way to kill Ernissa here. A 
Maybe not. Alright, so one, two. I don't want, um, with Wizard's Lightning available to be cast, I don't want to... Try this Wild Grove Walker play. I feel like I can do it later. My life total is a no real threat here. I just get to gain a million life now. That's pretty decent. Uh, guess I want that. Put everything in front of that, I think I'm willing to. Like, I could save my guy there. No, I can't save my guy there, but I can kill the Rekindling Phoenix at the moment of craving. So, like, I can kill these three and moment the token and play this for another three. So, that worked out well. Let's just submit it again. This was great there. Can I keep this super slow, clunky hand? I think I have to. They lose both of those cards if they don't play it now. Um, still take two. Hopefully we draw a land here and that's... Play the one that requires either two things or a coil. Not a coil. Could be two things though. Wizard's Lightning. No Wizard's Lightning either. I guess I'm gonna play you. Definitely gonna keep you. Cause you're just awesome. You can kill Tabal, you can kill that Chain Whirly boy. You can double up to Assassin's Trophy of Phoenix and the next turn me smash that. You get to do all sorts of neatos.
Don't care if they have a spell to throw here. I want to prevent damage either way. Either way, I'm preventing three damage. This way, I'm getting a card. Hopefully they don't have another creature. Turns out they do. That creature doesn't matter a great deal though without an experimental frenzy, especially when we have Tarnish Tyrants coming down. If they play a frenzy, it's gonna suck. Their four mana spells are the only spells I'm super concerned about at ATM. The game ends really fast when it gets to the carnage portion of the game. All right. Now that's a concern. I think I'm fine trading this with those two. Now we have a question mark. I can play both of these and kill this, or I can let them untap with basically infinite mana. I think I'm just going to do this. We know their top card is not a land, so I think I'd rather use this now. Give them a chance to draw a land. Probably the best possible to spawn a Phoenix. I just block one of these. A little more attacking for you, really. Alright, can we all draw J Light Ranger and just win the game? That'd be special. The attacks with Omawa definitely block, 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 and only take two. That way, even if this is a lightning strike, I'm not dead. Oh, wow, they hit the best possibles. All right, J Light Ranger for us to win. Massacre Worm. What does Massacre Worm do? Massacre Worm doesn't do anything, does it? That's unfortunate. I had to have another four mana spell. I, I say best possible. It wasn't really best possible. But. So what's my out here? My outs here is they silly block with the Phoenix. What if I attack with this too just for the lulls?
suppose I could just not attack. I have to do some pretty ferocious blocking here to play around a removal spell. They're not even killing my guy, they're just taking 8 damage. What? I guess I'll just play this then. If I play the Massacre Worm, it kills this. And nothing else, or if they wanted to remove this counter, then it would kill this, kill this, which in turn kills both of these, so one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't kill this. I think I just played a Wild Grove Walker. They draw Burn Spell, we lose. They draw anything else, we win. Sorry, if they draw a three point Burn Spell, we lose. Anything else, we win. We beat every other draw. Well, it doesn't have to be a burn spell. It could be a lava coil. Something that kills a wild growth walker. I guess we're dead. Can't see any other reason you attack. Wow, did they really slow row us? What the f- oh, I just get so mad when people slow row. Honestly, get so mad when people slow row. Well, oh, that opponent's an asshole. They also had to draw really well there to win. I think we did the best we could with the hand we had. I get very upset when people slow row. It just hands a keep. As awkward as it is, it looks like one of the better hands we've had this evening. Probably have to make a decision on turn two, but we'll base our decision based on what they're playing. I consider the red match favored versus us, which is why it was such a dagger that I thought we were getting ready to steal a match, and then we just lost. I think the red ma or red deck is a substantial favorite. I don't think they're particularly close. Could have made better decisions that game, maybe, but I don't know if anything wins from that spot. Well, it's probably on Grixis. I guess I'm going to play this one. I, know, I think I should have played the Paradise Druid on hindsight. Kind of blinked that I drew a land. 
Like, I saw it, and it just didn't change what I was thinking. I'm curious if the latest Grixis decks have been playing basics. It seems like they have. This gives us a chance to play Vivian this next turn at least. Hmm. Just shut them off colored mana here. Does that honestly feel bad? It means they can't play Nicobolus next turn, they can't counterspell this turn. Kill the Paradise Druid here, but I'm not even concerned about that. Oh, they only have two basics or the other ones in their hand. One of the two. <laughs> Neat. Neat baby strip mine. Oh, God. It feels good to be good. JJ, we just strip mine somebody. Just strip mine somebody. Oh, 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 lowered it. Can I just play all three of these? No, I just want to play this, I think. They could have an Angraft's Rampage or a Bad Devil since they done the shocky thing, but they could just have a Ritual of Suit or something. At least you'll let me make my decision first. any of these cards so take this sad thing is we can still just lose this game but it was still fun Draw a Carnage Tyrant, we probably won't lose. There are three of them in this field. I guess opponents got something to aggravate me with. Guessing a contempt. We get to kill another land and or Nicobolus. Down to three cards.
doesn't really do much. Oh, they killed themselves. They could have killed this and stayed alive, but they wanted to die instead. I respect that. Okay, so these don't kill anything I care about. This does. It can't really answer this either. Definitely don't want this massacre girl. Thinking about these cards <clears throat> that I have separated, don't think I want the duresses. Think you have the ability when you load up on like duresses and stuff to just lose to FIFA Sandy or Nicobolus, the the four four. But maybe that's wrong. Maybe you want the duresses too. Doesn't feel like you do a lot here. Killed disinformation campaign, but who even knows if they're on that build? These just cost a lot of mana to do. Who knows? <clears throat> All right. Definitely think we're two and two. I think that's wrong. It says two one, but pretty sure we're two and two. Yeah, we're two and two. Definitely gonna mulligan. Alright, we'll keep it. It's terrible, but whatever. That sucks, we have no playable cards in our hand. Today Wednesday. Yeah, today's Wednesday. I assume they're gonna take the J line. So I guess they can take the Choop if they have a bolus. Second field of room is pretty cool. We're definitely going to use this field of room. We can't cast anything else anyway. And since they already have the black man, I think it makes sense just to use it on the falls. The shot. Let's stop on opponent's turn again. Go one of these.
Don't care if they kill this, obviously. Again, let me make my decisions first. I think I want that this game. I think I just want to hope to use this casualties into the carnage. Actually, probably the carnage into the casualties, unless uh, they play a bolus or something. Could have angrafts, but they would have it next turn either way. It's just this one kind of forces them to have something. I'm just gonna pass. I'm not using my spells on anything. Maybe I could have played a land there. We'll play a land now. Turnish Tyrant might just deal 20. Well, that doesn't stop Turnish Tyrant. And they brick. Something. I know we have this Casualties of War as well. Like how we're this sweet land destruction deck and we just destroyed none of the lands. Carnage Tyrant, dealing the twenties. That's pretty awesome. I think we're going to play one more match, uh, but we're going to play on Arena and we're going to play Stompy. Bonus matches. And the reason I say one match is because I'm one match away from Mythic, so I'm either A, going to win this match and be Mythic, and then go watch the TV, or B, I'm going to lose this match and be depressed and not want to play anymore. So. so let's do this. Stop it! I should just play best of one red deck wins. That's what I should do. Feels like it's easier to win two of those. Stop it! Go ahead and win this dash row. Have a land world felt collector hand. Uh, keep a Reno. Basically, have the nuts. Opponent mulliganed. A lot of decks just literally can't beat like Steel Leaf Champion into Ferox right now. Most of the other green decks can beat that, but... See? Definitely offering this trade. Because with Domri and stuff like that, they can just play Domri and fight. We, however, can't really beat a Rekindling Phoenix. So... Hopefully we'll fade Phoenix this turn. I 
obviously we didn't need that card for anything at all. I really like the fact that even if they have Sarkin now, oh, I don't care about that too much. I mean, it sucks for me, don't get me wrong. We really only drawn four spells? That's BS. Well, we make them kill a Lantern Elf, so we've got that going for us. Need them to brick here. That's basically breaking. That card does nothing. It's not necessarily true. That card combines and kills a Ferox, but... Alright, we need to draw one of our Galtas. Our Galta wins the game. They won't beat a Galta. Because of Death Touch, I can attack with both. Can't really win though without the Galta. So Chandra's just gonna take over. That kinda sucks too. This was a real chance for us to win a game. Nice draw. Still just win if I draw Galta. Eh, I didn't draw Galta. Hard match. We don't we don't really combat planeswalkers very well. They didn't draw anything good. That's lovely. They can basically play two spells. Basically get a Domri and a Spellbreaker here, or a Sarkin and a Shock. Sarkin and Shock does nothing. Sarkin and Shock kills us too, but... I think they'll take the Domri. So they take Domri, we still have a chance to draw nothing? I don't think we have an out. Unfortunate, I thought we were going to win that game. Thought our hand was great. But we couldn't draw the only card that matters. Alright, we got to win two now. Oh, Mulligan, too. So we had basically the best we could get with the exception of Agalta and they Mulligan. This hand's not very good, but we can't Mulligan again.
because of their shocks and removal spells and stuff like that, a Pelt Collector that isn't going to get even powered until turn 4 or 5 just doesn't matter. Land that we don't need. Again, land that we don't need. Apparently it's 9. I apologize, that's my alarm going off. I guess the turn three gods at least decent. But like I said, with our shocks and stuff just being too slow, this isn't going to do anything. they don't have the lava coil they have the lava coil all right whatever i'm just gonna play it doesn't do anything but whatever it doesn't even beat rekindling phoenix Doesn't really do anything. I don't know why that's still in their deck. That's like a clear cyborg out in my opinion, but All right. still just looking for a Galta so we can win. I don't think we can win without a Galta. I don't think we can lose with a Galta, assuming we draw it next turn. If it takes multiple turns to draw it, we can lose. Our kingdom for either a Galta or Lava Coil. Yes, I'm supposed to just attack with these again. gonna block with that so that's fine. Didn't really change anything. The Dom changed things though because now the uh, Harpooner can't attack for the Elf anymore. What is? I guess they have a shock. I have to just have a shock. Galt is not good enough now. Now we're dead. I don't really have an out here. Ah, thanks for stopping by, everybody.
take care, and we failed and are out of here.